Hey there everyone, today we're diving into the nuclear sponge. It's a region acting as a buffer in a nuclear attack, like a sponge soaking up water. This area absorbs a nuclear strike, protecting others. It's a key part of US defense strategy. We're talking about the heartland of America, specifically a region encompassing five states, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, and Nebraska. This region, often dubbed the Missile Belt, might seem like an unlikely place for such a critical role, but that's precisely why it was chosen. The seemingly empty landscape of America's heartland holds a secret, a vast network of underground facilities housing some of the nation's most powerful weapons. In the next section, we'll delve deeper into these hidden fortresses and understand why this particular region was selected for such a vital, albeit unsettling, purpose. Beneath the tranquil surface of America's heartland lies a network of hardened underground silos. These silos house intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, a crucial component of the US nuclear deterrent. They are engineering marvels, designed to withstand tremendous force and ensure the survivability of the missiles within. The decision to place these silos in this region was no accident. It was a strategic calculation made during the Cold War. The vast distances, sparse population and strategic location of the American Midwest made it an ideal location for these critical assets. This region provided a buffer zone, a geographic shield that could potentially absorb a first strike, ensuring the survival of a retaliatory force. Why this specific region? Geography, population density and strategic considerations. Vast distances and sparse population are crucial. A nuclear attack here would be less devastating. The central location offers a strategic advantage. Missiles can reach global targets, ensuring deterrence. This reinforces the nuclear sponge concept, a calculated decision during global tension. Now let's revisit the analogy of the sponge. Imagine a dry sponge. When you pour water onto it, the sponge absorbs the liquid. Similarly, the nuclear sponge strategy uses missile silos to absorb a potential nuclear attack. The consequences of a nuclear strike would still be devastating, but the impact would be less catastrophic than a hit on a major city. This placement aims to minimize casualties and limit damage. The sponge analogy illustrates creating a buffer zone to protect vital areas. To understand the rationale behind the nuclear sponge, we need to rewind the clock back to the Cold War. This era, marked by intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union, saw both superpowers amassing vast nuclear arsenals. The threat of nuclear annihilation loomed large, shaping global politics and military strategies. The nuclear sponge concept emerged during this period of heightened tension, a product of the prevailing strategic doctrine known as mutually assured destruction, or MAD. The idea behind MAD was chillingly simple. If one side launched a nuclear attack, the other would retaliate in kind, ensuring the destruction of both. The nuclear sponge played a crucial role in this delicate balance of terror. The Cold War might be over, but the nuclear sponge remains a relevant aspect of US military strategy. New threats and challenges have emerged, but the specter of nuclear war persists. The proliferation of nuclear weapons to other nations poses new challenges. The nuclear sponge continues to influence US defense planning. The debate on modernizing the US nuclear arsenal underscores its relevance. The nuclear sponge serves as a reminder of the enduring legacy of the Cold War. The nuclear sponge is a chilling concept, a stark reminder of the destructive power of nuclear weapons and the complex calculations that underpin global security. It's a strategy born out of the Cold War, a time of intense rivalry and existential threat. While the world has changed, the nuclear sponge remains a relevant, albeit controversial, aspect of US military strategy. It highlights the enduring challenges of nuclear deterrence, the delicate balance of power, and the moral dilemmas inherent in such a strategy. As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, understanding concepts like the nuclear sponge is crucial. It reminds us of the stakes involved, the importance of diplomacy, and the constant pursuit of a safer, more secure world.